maybe uh, they can explain the medical terms better. Every time you see anybody have to go through what it is and what his problems are, do a little bit of, you know, background research before they speak to you. It's that person-centred approach to it. It's, it's, she doesn't fit in any boxes. Don't try and fit her in them. Just talk to me and I'll give you all the information you need. And I, did, I just found that was very closed off for us. Probably the most stressful thing of having a disabled child is having to jump through all the hoops. They made us go to this group parenting class to help your child to speak more. But he's absolutely non-verbal and the condition means he's non-verbal. But that was very clear that right from early on. So I think I would have appreciated more people sharing their expertise tell us that you know, her journey was going to be different. You'd be at an appointment where um, sometimes my son had to be there and then afterwards it was, it was really difficult because you'd come out and you'd think, I can't remember what they said about this. It was quite distracting. Sometimes it might have just been helpful to have gone away and had like a phone call afterwards just with them when I wasn't distracted by also caring for my son. The school never understood her. She's amazing, they just need to walk around with her to be able to understand that sometimes they need to have that routine in place for her.